This screencast is about how to use Buildout to make products available to Zope and Plone. Everything I'm going to talk about today is documented on the WebLion Wiki on the Buildout page. There's also more documentation at plone.org in the documentation section. We can use Buildout to make products available to your Zope and Plone. First, we're going to talk about making available products that have already been released. For example, these are products that you might find via the plone.org website. To be installed using Buildout, a product has to be available as an egg. Most Plone 3 products these days are available as eggs. The instructions that I'm going to show now are outlined on the WebLine wiki. You need to tell Buildout about the product and use Buildout to pull that product into the right place on your file system. To do this, we alter the buildout.cfg file. You will have one of these whether you use the Plone installer to install Plone or whether you install Plone using Buildout. For example, here is what the Plone installer gave me for Plone 3.1.7 on a Mac and there is my buildout.cfg file. And here's the Buildout we ran earlier. And there's the buildout.cfg file. We need to alter this file so we open it up using a text editor. Depending on how you installed Plone, your buildout.cfg file may look something like this, or it may have a lot more comments in it. You need to find the section of the buildout.cfg file in the um, overall section called Buildout. The section you want is called Eggs, and this is where you specify the names of the product eggs that you want Buildout to call in. Here I'm going to install something called Faculty Staff Directory, and the name of this egg is Products Faculty Staff Directory. And because the name of this product starts with the word products with a capital P, this amendment to the file is the only change that I need to make to it to call this particular product in. If I want to call in a product whose name starts with something other than products with a capital P, I have to make more than one change to the file. I specify the name of the product here under the egg section. And I also have to scroll down until I find a section called ZCML. And specify its name here. So I make those changes to the file, then I go back to my terminal window if Zope is running, I stop it, and essentially I rerun Buildout. Use the bin buildout command, and because I've just recently run Buildout, I don't necessarily want Buildout to go off and find all the freshest versions of eggs other than the new ones that I want to pull in. So I use the minus capital N flag when I run Buildout, and that basically means that Buildout will just go off and find the versions of things that it hasn't already got. So that runs, and now we should be able to start our Zope again, and we should see those products available. So we've restarted Zope, now we can go to our Plone site, to the Add Remove Products section of Site Setup, and we should see, yes, there it is, our faculty staff directory is available to be installed. The other product that I called in, Plone Reload, uh, is not a Plone product. It works uh, within Zope. And uh, if we type at at reload in the URL bar after localhost 8080, we can see that that product is also available to us. By the way, this is a really neat product. Uh, if you're developing for Plone, it saves you having to restart your Plone site every time you make a change to a Python script or a ZCML file. You can just press one of these buttons and uh, it automatically reloads the relevant code for you and you don't have to wait for the restart. In the very last part of this screencast, I'm going to show you how to call development products, that is, products which are available to you in egg form but aren't released yet you might be developing them or a colleague of yours might be developing them and you want to make them available to your Plone site. How do you do that using Buildout? 
Because I know that I want to install development eggs, I'm going to make use of a very handy product called Build Out Egg Tractor. First, I need to make that product available to my Z. Uh, I alter my buildout.cfg file. I put this line, extensions equals buildout.eggtractor, into the part section of the buildout section. I save, and then I rerun buildout using the minus n flag. Make sure that Zope is stopped before you do this. This will go out and get a copy of egg tractor and put it in my eggs folder. Now I need to uh, put a copy of my development egg into my build out folders. And uh, here I have the eggs that I'm developing. And here I have my build out. And I'm going to put uh, a copy of uh, this egg here into the SRC folder. Um, I'm actually going to, rather than make an actual copy, I'm going to soft link uh, the product in there. And I prefer to soft link rather than make copies because then I can keep one reference copy in my file system and um, I can have a, a soft link in as many build out folders as I like. So let me just create that soft link. There it is. Now I can rerun build out and this time I will use the minus O flag which essentially just goes and checks my local hard disk for new products. Look, it's seen the new product there. So now when I start Zope, the new product should be available to us. Here's my plan site. Let me just refresh the products page. It goes and there is the development product that we'd wanted to make available to install.